Thomas here again, Musky Hunter Magazine Challenge. Today's challenge, I'm gonna be out on the lake with my buddy Anthony Porkchop Smith. That's right, I said pork chop, so you know I'm in Kentucky. And we're gonna be out trying to catch fish on dive and rise jerk baits. Uh, we got a cloudy day here, a little misty, a little rainy, like a perfect musky day. So we're hoping to show you how to manipulate and how to move these dive and rise baits and put some fish in the boat. Remember the rules, we can change the bait, but we can't uh, alter the original style of the lure. And again, we got one lake, one day, and one bait. So guys, stay tuned. We're gonna put the boat in the water here and kind of put one of these fish in the boat. We'll see ya. <laughs> All right, he finally decided to hit. Oh. Not a giant, but you know what? It's got some spawning scars on her. Nice little muskie, but challenge was accomplished. Again, this fish here followed in a wades, uh, a wades wobbler like four times and could not get to bite. So what I did is I downsized, put on a little seven inch suet with a weighted leader, which I'm gonna show you guys how to make. And we got her in the boat. Let's get her back. And I think she's doing good because she already took off. So guys, we're gonna get back at it. Gotta get some tackle back together. But remember, changing up, sometimes throwing back with a downsized bait and even adding weight to lures is really, really important. Let's get back to fishing. <laughs> Well, guys, we got another one here. Pork chop got one on a, uh, a Wade's wobbler, another dive and rise bait. What we're doing is we're fishing back uh, in the thick cover in the wood and the weeds in these shallower bays here on Cave Run. And these fish, you know, it's a, it's a cloudy day. They seem to be pumped up a little bit. And they're really, I mean, really aggressive. I've missed another fish. Uh, he's missed one, caught this one. I caught the one before. So the fish are pretty active today. I'm gonna let him go ahead and pull this one up out of the net and uh, let you get a good look at it. challenge definitely turned out to be uh, I'm glad you guys suggested me do this today because it seems like it's really working and the uh, the fish are biting 
Okay guys, let's talk about how we're getting these fish to hit these dive and rise baits. You know, dive and rise baits can be worked both fast and slow. And it seems like right now that they want them a little slow. You know, we've got this little suic here, this little seven inch suic. And I've got this weighted leader here on the front. You can also do it by hanging a bell sinker on the front hook. But to me, sometimes a weighted leader helps get that bait down a little bit deeper and um, gets a little different action to the bait. So to make one, it's really, really easy. Now, if you don't want to make one, I understand that. You can go to StealthTackle.net. He makes a lot of great weighted leaders. But if you're in the boat and you just really want to try it, it's not that hard. Take you a spool of wire. This right here is like 218 pound test. So it's kind of a lighter wire, but uh, it works really good. And what you do is you always start with a loop. You know, you always start with a loop. Anytime you work with wire, it's all about loops. So make a loop in one end, twist it two or three times. Usually three times is really good. And I'm gonna go around there three, like that. Now you can see my loop isn't perfect, but I'll tell you, the fish don't really care. And no matter what type of weight you got in the boat, it could be a bell sinker, it could be a worm weight, it doesn't matter. I've got some worm weights in here that I've been using. And all you do is you take this worm weight, this standard worm weight, put it on your leader like this, and thread the wire through it. Okay, real, real easy. Then you take, just make a loop, uh, another loop right up at the top here, just like so. We're gonna turn it a few times. Two, three, and then we trim that off so we don't have that little piece hanging there, just like so. And now we have a leader, right around seven inch leader, but now you can see the weight can move. The one thing that I will tell you, if you don't want that weight moving, a lot of times you don't, um, you can either peg it with a toothpick by sticking it up in there and breaking it off, or just take a pair of pliers and mash that weight down. Just take it, mash it good like that. You can see now it doesn't move. You can put a snap there or a split ring and connect directly. It really doesn't matter, but that's how you can make a weighted leader in the boat. If you don't want to make them, like I said, stealthtackle.net and you'll be able to find them there. But we're going to get back out here and see if we can't catch some fish. <laughs> Guys, that's it. Challenge accomplished. We did the dive and rise jerkbait challenge today. And the one thing we had to do was actually add a little more weight to the bait to give it some additional hang time. This is really important when using the dive and rise stuff because, you know, if it rises too fast, especially in the cooler water when the fish are a little more neutral, it can be tougher to get them. So adding a little bit of weight, whether it be hanging a bell sinker on the hook, uh, using the weighted leaders like we were today, um, both those things really, really help. Uh, when you're out there on the water so guys remember to follow us on our social media sites with musky hunter magazine on instagram and facebook um, subscribe to the channel if you like it share it with some friends as well and i want you in the comments keep giving me some ideas i'm going to try to keep this going as long as i can uh, and help us all kind of get through this whole uh, rough patch and i want to uh, I want to keep doing this though. It's a lot of fun and hopefully carry it over some different legs. So you guys take care and I will see you later. Bye.